So I'm about to cut this today. Oh, whoa, shivers. So I had a message from a lady that had seen my videos. Uh, she wasn't looking for a freebie or anything. No one lives in this place. It'll be demolished at some point. New um, construction will be here, but it has to be maintained till then. But she messaged me saying, not, not looking for a free job, wants to pay me to help support Freemo Fridays, which I thought was cool. I just bought that new flail mower. Guess I've got to pay for it, so <laughs> probably good timing. So there's obviously much larger machines you could use to do this. I'm gonna use what I have. It'll be a good test for the flail mower anyway. I do get a lot of requests for paid work uh, that I just have to say no to because I just physically don't have the time. But this one is good because I really did want to test out what the flower mower can do in this sort of situation. Because that stuff down there is thick. It goes back a long way uh, and it'll be a bit of fun. This is the machine we're going to be using to hopefully cut it up. If you haven't seen this before, this is the flower mower. We've got a very different cutting setup to your standard mower. It's got this drum that these flails are attached to. That spins around. Good for overgrown stuff, lays the stuff down nicely. Let's get it off. This is quite a large property and I have another machine to test out. I haven't bought it or anything. I did just message them and ask if I could test it. It's just been released and that is gonna be awesome for doing out the front here. So I'll have to talk to her and see if she'll let me do that. Now, thank God the sun's out, the humidity's back because we've really been missing it. Yeah, who doesn't want to be drenched in sweat the entire time they're working? This has been surprisingly easy to get on and off this small ute. Now the ground speed of this machine isn't particularly quick. That doesn't bother me. I'm generally gonna be doing smaller areas. Like I said before, you could definitely get another sort of machine that's bigger, gonna knock it over quicker. But this thing is good for me because I do a lot of suburban blocks and I can still maneuver it in those situations. Man, this is long. This isn't the bit that we're even worried about. It's down the back. I think it'll look epic. I'm waiting for my hat to dry. I was on the back of the ute. It got wet and filthy the other day when I was doing Freemo Fridays and I left it in the back of the ute so it was wet, it stunk, had to rinse it out. It won't take long to dry it all. Definitely needed today. Now, I did have to laugh. This was the place I tested out uh, that wire brush attachment for the line trimmer. It was a great place to try it out. Some of the debris was going in the pool. Uh, I love that some of the people in the comments were genuinely upset that I was getting stuff in the pool and getting the pool dirty. The whole time I've been doing this, snakes haven't really been an issue for me. I do wear snake gaiters in long grass anyway, just in case. I feel like if they were gonna be somewhere, it would be out there. So uh, that may actually be on my mind today. It's not generally on my mind. I'm more concerned with hitting bricks and hard waste that's gonna destroy your machines. I mean, have you seen my equipment? The snakes should be afraid of me, not the other way around. I have limited stock of these left as well. I'm out of the mediums, but I have other sizes. Send me an email if you're interested.
All I can say is wow, really. Check that out. It just, it just does it. I mean, I know people that have probably played with flails before are going, yeah, of course, but it's just, that is just super impressive to me. I'll, uh, I'll probably still give it a double cut just because I've got borderline OCD. But um, yeah, you could totally get away with that. It just does it. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but it was fast enough in the uh, fifth speed on it. Might head down to this spot down here now. So still mega blown away, I've just spent about 10 minutes getting a splinter out of my finger. Yes, I should be wearing gloves and I should be setting a better example, absolutely. I've actually got some new gloves on the way to try out, so I'm the first to admit that I definitely need to be better with gloves. Obviously I wear a lot of other PPE, I will be better. So this is currently just your old style large block. In a couple of years, it's gonna look like down there, new houses, probably on 450 square meter blocks living next door to each other. Ah, oh, it's so sad. I mean, I live in one of them. I'm not having a go at it. I, it's, it's literally what I live in, but uh, it'd be nice if people had a bit of space. It is hot. Well, I've got to say, that's probably the most amount of grass I've cut in one go. That was thick, that was long. It's only 30 degrees, but it feels a lot hotter. The fact I was able to do this place with a walk behind machine is pretty crazy. Here's the back bit that you wouldn't even know was here. I couldn't even really work out what layout the property was. The grass was that long, done all up that hill too, 
all through the trees. A lot of work. Definitely would be easier with some sort of ride-on machine. They actually make ride-on versions um, of that machine. Same brand and everything. I might talk to them at some stage about maybe trying one of them. Not buying one, I don't have enough work for that sort of stuff, but I definitely would like to try one. Before I pack up the drone, I might give you a quick tour of the area. So you get an idea of the sort of area that I live. So this is a new development area. Lots going on. This is just next door, have a look at that. Looks like some units or something going there. I mean, it, it, we're kind of in the middle of nowhere. Like if you have a look, it's, there's lots of housing and lots of development going on. I'll take you over here, have a look in the distance. See all that white stuff in the distance. That was meant to be Box Hill City Centre, which was going to be our local shopping centre. But uh, disgraced developer top place who had lots of issues with building defects where other projects they had uh, and fraud issues, they got shut down. So this thing has just been left to rot for the last, uh, I don't know, I don't think anything's happened on it for the last year and a half or something. No work at all. I think it's for sale at the moment for some other developer to come in and try and complete the project, but this was meant to be Coles or Woolworths downstairs, some smaller specialty shops, and then apartments up top. So more than likely a low quality build. So yeah, this is uh, on hold. You, you can see in the distance, the contrast of this area, you've got still got some rural looking land there, but then you've got all these new houses, new developments in the background there. They're you know, anywhere from 300 square meters, usually to 500 square meters. And you can pay a million bucks for a 450 square meter block, which is just crazy. But yeah, within a couple of years, this whole area will look like this. Gray roofs, houses taking up 70% of the block, 900 mil from the fence. These areas get super hot in summer because as you can see, there's just road, dark colored roofs, tiny bits of grass in the back. Looks like a lawnmower. Can't tell. What's the old mate doing? I don't know, some sort of earthworks. Was any climatic? Look at the size of these older blocks. How much land there is there. It's, it's wild to see the contrast. Compared to that. Anyway, that's my area. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-mm.